Most of the conversation about artificial intelligence in the media is about generative AI, about large language models. But that's obviously a subset of the field. And, and, and Josh, in, in the marketing business, what, what other spaces within AI are you thinking about? Predictive AI is a really important field and something we've been investing heavily in as a company and within our marketing function. For the last decade, my teams have been looking at every single aspect of how we go to market across measurement, across creative, across every pixel and every frame, and really using AI now to understand what's contributing to the bottom line. And when we get this right, the really clever part is we can start predicting through predictive AI what outcome we're going to get from a piece of creative before we spent any money behind it. A second use of predictive analytics we're really excited about and finding incredibly powerful is within our outcome-based planning approach. And Ben, you and I have talked about outcome-based planning before, but the notion of really focusing on business outcomes versus just marketing activity. It's a really smart, clever way to deploy budgets efficiently, effectively, but accountability to the CFO. How can people get started with predictive AI? Google's AI solutions all have predictive AI built into them. So that's a really good place to start. So DemandGen, Pmax, AI Max Research, you can actually use these tools right now with predictive AI built in and get going.